What is up my beautiful followers on YouTube? Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up a Nunchuck account. Yes, I said Nunchuck. Um, sounds a little bit weird as it comes off the tongue there. Um, but I figured I would do this tutorial for you if you're interested. It is a non-custodial wallet. Um, if that sounds cool to you, if it's something you're looking for here on the internet, well, let's get started and let's make it happen. All right, so come on down here to nunchuck.io. I'll put the link in the description below. Man, I cannot talk tonight. Anyways, I'll put it in the description below. Um, and you're gonna come over here and you're gonna download it. So like, for example, I'm on uh, a laptop um, and then uh, you're gonna click on download, okay? So it's gonna kick, take, kick you down to the bottom of the website. Um, you're gonna see the different options for where to download. For me, I have a Mac, so I'm gonna click on download for Mac, then going to download the file. So once you have that zip file taken care of, go ahead and unzip it here. You're then gonna see it there, go ahead and pull it open. You're then, you're going to see it show you this issue here where it says nothing's there. It's gonna give you an error message, okay? It's gonna try and open it. It's not gonna open it. says it's uh, the developer's not verified, which is fine. You just exit out of there and then come on over to settings. Once you hop into your security and privacy section within your settings on your Mac, just do open anyways here. And um, so then you're gonna create an account. Um, it'll, it's super easy to set up. I've already done it on my end. Um, but let me go ahead and put in my information, then we'll log in. All right, so now you can see we are logged in here. I will say this, as I use the uh, application, it does seem a little clunky. So that's just my honest review of Nunchuck. Um, compared to Ledger Live or the Trezor Suite, uh, this Nunchuck app is it's just, it just comes across as kind of clunky and outdated. So, you know, just warning you that once you get everything set up. So uh, part of Nunchuck here is that uh, you can add other contacts to be part of a multi-sig application here for your wallet to where you cannot send crypto or spend it without confirming from multiple sources to verify that uh, you are the owner of that particular wallet or you can do it just for yourself. But if you did wanna add a contact, you could do it here or here um, and you could set up that way. Um, if you're familiar with multi-sig, um, you can find other videos on YouTube to give you more info there. If you're curious, if you're already familiar with it, then you know what I'm talking about. All right, so if you're like me, you just wanna set up a wallet here. Let's jump on over to the wallet section. You're gonna see uh, the transaction fees here at the bottom, You know, low, medium, high priority. If you're interested of in what it is currently at the moment, how many sats are involved to spend and uh, when you uh, send or receive. All right, and then you've got two options here for add a new key or add a new wallet. So obviously I'm gonna add a new wallet, so I'm gonna quick click on that. I then have a name, so let's just do a, a test name here. So test crypto blick, wallet description, uh, test wallet. And then you could do a standard wallet or a one-time escrow wallet. This is uh, unique. I, I was not familiar with what this was until I had uh, downloaded a Nunchuck here, but you can see it's a special single-use wallet designed to hold funds temporarily. That's a very unique opportunity. I kind of like what that is. Um, so that's something you're interested in. You can do a one-time escrow wallet. Otherwise, um, just stick with the standard wallet here. And then of course you can do some advanced features here, native SIGWIT, a nested SIGWIT or a legacy. It shows you what it's like in terms of how much you're saving in terms of your fees. Um, we're gonna leave it at the native SIGWIT here, okay? And then um, one other thing, if you're interested here, if you don't wanna do the key setup, you can do import wallets. You can import wallets that you have already. I'm not gonna to touch that. Let's leave that alone. Let's keep it simple, stupid, okay? So then do the key setup. Once you jump into this section here where you're gonna make your key configuration, uh, you're going to see it blank when you first set it up, okay? And uh, you're gonna have a, a sign to wallet, but you don't click that until you actually have some actual keys in place. So we're gonna click on add new key. From here, you're going to see two different options. You've got the hardware key or the software key. Your hardware key is gonna be like if you have your Trezor or your Ledger, so where you have an actual a hardware wallet that produces that key for you. You do continue and that says, hey, uh, there's no devices that are available. I don't have one connected right now, but you can do that there. 
I'm gonna go back here, you could do a software key, and then this of course is where you're going to create a new key uh, that will be stored locally on your device. You're gonna then see your 24 words here and I'm gonna write these down or I'm gonna actually screenshot them just because I'm doing a video. I'm not actually gonna use these for my own keys. I'm just gonna do this as a test feature, but do keep in mind, if you did create your own seed, do not save these digitally. Do not do a screenshot like I just did. Do not put them on your notes documents or a Google Doc. You want to save this on paper, away from a digital version to where no one can hack in and then also steal those words, okay? So we've got that here. It says it also as well at the bottom, avoid having a digital copy, okay? Continue. It's then going to ask me for my different words within, and I have to verify which one is which. All right, so then I'm gonna verify which one is which here. So 20 is oil, or 22 I should say. 20 is inflict, oops, get out of the way. And then word 12 is island. Okay, so there we go, continue. Name of software key, so public test key. I can't, ah, oh, I ran out of characters here. Okay, let's do that, one, perfect, continue. All right, please back up your passphrase along with the seed. You need both to recover your key. So if you ever lose it, you need this in order to, to, to uh, restore it back to your nunchuck account, okay? So passphrase is optional if you want, confirm passphrase. Um, so let's just do, uh, let's just do, be stupid here and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, seven, there we go. Uh, then set passphrase, perfect. So everything is in place. All right, and you could do a health check if you want to. Okay, let's just do that. Enter your passphrase. Send. Your key device is healthy. Awesome, sounds good. Confirm and close. Okay, so you can see that I have that key there right now. I could add multiple keys here so that, like I said, um, that in order to transact with uh, that wallet, I actually have to confirm more than one key in order to be able to uh, send and transact with that uh, Bitcoin. Um, a lot of people do this too, and they put these keys in different locations and with different people to make it harder to spend uh, that Bitcoin. But for this here, we're just going to do uh, one. Okay, it says, okay, required signatures, one of one. All right, so I'm just doing this to make it easy. We've got that there. Now, next, review the wallet. So I'm gonna see that, okay, here's my name, it's a standard wallet, blah, 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 got all that information, here's the key that I have available, and then create wallet. All right, please save the wallet configuration file. You can use it to recover your wallet later using any BSMS compatible software, okay, and then download wallet BSMS file. Okay, so we're gonna do that. All right, your wallet has been created. Perfect, all right. So now you can see I have my test Crypto Blick wallet available and I have no BTC in it, which is fine. Uh, you could see wallet details here. That's where we were earlier. You could send or receive, or you could do your QR code to send to. Um, you could always copy the address or actually see the actual address right here, the public address, I should say, okay. And then uh, just showing the keys that I have available, okay? So those are uh, just giving you a quick overview of showing you what a wallet would look like. If I wanted to quite create another wallet, just do the plus symbol, same steps guys, and just go through it, boom, boom, boom. And then you have everything available, okay? All right, and that's it. So. If you did like the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as I release more content every week for you. Hope this video was helpful in case you're looking for a multi-sig uh, self-custody wallet solution for your Bitcoin. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I will do my best to answer them the best I can. If I don't have the answers right away, I will do my research um, and get you that answer as the best I can. Um, if you found this video helpful, as always, subscribe to the channel uh, and stay in touch as I produce more videos on a weekly basis. Some of you are asking for uh, MetaMask and Trezor and Ledger wallet options. I'm gonna do some videos on that down the road. And then also, 
like the video because that lets the algorithm know that you found this helpful and that helps grow the channel so I can provide more content you, to you guys down the road. And I feel like I've been talking on and on here. So anyways, I appreciate your support as always. And if you guys have any questions, comments, whatever, just leave them in the comment section. I love seeing what you guys ask about, what you comment about. And until next time, guys, I'll see you when I see you.